Hey, what's up, guys? I recently watched a video. Uh, so I'll put it right here and I'll pause whatever this is going on right now. I'm going to show you this in the final cut. We were watching it on the uncut channel, then I apologize. But like, it was like this guy doing like some more TikTok edits on Omegle or like some offshoot of Omegle because Omegle is like finished now. And I just think to myself, like, this one girl said, I've been grinding Bloodborne. And everyone starts simping in the comment section. <laughs> Uh, do, I, do I smell like yellow? Mm, yeah, it's decent. I don't, need, I don't even use any whitening stuff, so let's brush my teeth. Anyways, I just and I just think to myself like, when you're the ambitious entrepreneur, you're the ambitious individual. You don't want to play video games, bro. <laughs> you don't want to do this type of stuff. It's gonna fuck you up. It's gonna kill you. It really is gonna kill you. And um. There are going to be extremely negative dividends that occur later on in, in life because of video game usage. And you, but you don't. The problem is you don't even realize it. <laughs> you don't. It just happens. Um. As you know, I like on the other video that I've, I've gone into like video games again, just a little bit, dip my pink, dip my pinky in. But like like John Wick said, or like that guy who talked to John Wick said, if you so much as dip a pinky in into this world, it's very very difficult to escape again. And I'm, I'm seeing myself progress and going back to that, you know. It looks like I'm fucking hairline proceeding. <coughs> uh, I'm seeing myself progress and. Go back to that toxic cycle of hey, I need to quit video games. Why am I playing video games? I'm having fun. I'm not getting anything productive done. Really can't go into esports. <laughs> and the simple answer is really simple. Put it online, sell it. Which I think in pictures and I think a video of it. So I can't put it online, sell it. I do get Wi-Fi in the morning because my mom cut my Wi-Fi. <laughs> big big nineteen years old mom cut my Wi-Fi. Then I'll probably most likely. Attempt to sell it, just put it on Facebook, put it on eBay, attempt to sell it, sell the sign set up, monitor, monitor arm, monitor stand, PS4 itself, everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything, everything can go. That's my intention. Uh, my price, probably like 300 sign, something like that, for the games, the PS4, and the monitor arm, and the monitor itself, 144 hertz. I think it's a fair deal. Um, I'll calculate how much it costs, and then I'll put, I guess, a price just below that. So it makes sense. When I breathe in, it's clearly mucus. But when I breathe out, there's nothing. Anyway, back to the topic. The topic of the video, like you can't play video games when you're an ambitious entrepreneur, you know, I'm not gonna come on here like Hamza and say, I hate you when you play video games, even though I really do resonate with his message, considering the fact that he's wasted hundreds, no, thousands of hours, tens of thousands of hours on video games, like myself. Like, I, mo the most <laughs> stupid to say is so embarrassing. One of the biggest video games I've wasted time on is like Roblox and Apex Legends. Like, Apex is coming up in five years old. I've been playing it since I was like 14, 15, 14 turning 15. 15 to now, 18 turning 19. That is just asinine. That's insane. That's that's ridiculous. I, you can't, I can't, and then like the lifespan of Apex is like another 10 to 15, 10 to 15 years. Bro, I can't expect to play Apex for the rest of my fucking life. Like, and I'm sinking back to this hole and I'm thinking to myself like, what the fuck are you doing, Jimmy? You're becoming one of them again. The NPCs, the cogs in the matrix, the cogs in the system, the batteries in the matrix. And you're okay with it. I really like the moments of like 3 a.m. moments, like 3 a.m. right now. I'm trying to show you. I really like these moments because, like, they give you a sense of, like, clarity, solitude, and I get to, like, 
truly reflect back on what I've been doing with my entire fucking life so far. And it's quite embarrassing. It's quite embarrassing. Like, I think my entire year that's passed by so far with, with all the Andrew Tate shit, with all the opportunities to make money, the opportunity to edit and video, like, work, work, just work in general. I include video editing, selling, this, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's the whole Nile. I think about the opportunities that pile up and the opportunities I could have taken. But each day, like, you don't work towards your intended path. <laughs> it's a day wasted. It's an opportunity burnt. I mean, to come on here, it's super like, weird, like, <laughs> like, um, <sighs> yeah, like, wow, oh my god, she's a keeper, she, like, she plays video games, you're just gonna be high on the same drug, like Hamza said. The reason why so many young men go back to it because it's so easy. You just you you, you just turn on the PS4. You just click your controller, beep, and then you hear it, and then it just turns on, and then you're you're in the game. It's easy. It's not like real life where you have to like actually do something, struggle a bit, to get some money, struggle a bit to get into physique into into physique that you want at least to gain some muscle. It's nothing like real life. It's monumentally easier. Monumentally. <sighs> and then, oh man, I just... I see myself going back into the sinkhole and I'm like... Oh, what the fuck? It's, just, it's not even hypocrisy, it's just idiocracy. It's stupid. Like, I want something. But I'm doing th something else that pivots me towards a completely other, other different path. Like, what the fuck are you doing then? Like, the con like, I think about this often, like, as well, like, only, like, 80% of people on, like, social media, they don't con create content, they just consume. 10 to 20% actually comment, and 5 to 10% actually create content. I think it's a little bit lower than that now, something lower than that. You might feel like it's larger, but it really is lower than that. Like, one human can watch hundreds of thousands of videos. The demand is insatiable. It's quite insatiable, it's insane actually to think about. <sighs> I could have been one of those creators, instead I decided to be one of the consumers. I apologize if the video is grainy, it's, it's dark. If I, what if I do this? What if I do this? <laughs> it's so stupid, what am I doing? <sighs> well, that's better. And, oh man. I remember my friend told my, my one of my channels that like, was successful. I was gonna say the name, but I'm not going to actually. I'm gonna keep it under wraps for now. But um, he he just said to me like, I'm so sad when I look at when I look at the channel. I'm just so sad in general because when I look at it, it's just I, I just feel like it's wasted potential. And when I think about the last two three years so far that I've had on some improvement. It's all wasted potential. But that's water break. I could have worked harder here. I could have covered smarter here. I could have done this better here. And they just... The, the accolades that would have been compile immensely. And before you know it, you're seeing like at your desk at fucking three a.m. in the morning recording a video like this. It's like the, it's like it's like one of them videos that I say that like, oh, I'm a loser, I'm a loser, and you know, <laughs> so I'm becoming, I'm becoming one of those. <laughs> I'm thirty years old, I'm a loser. I'm twenty, I'm twenty seven years old, and I don't know what to do in my life. Because like, you haven't given yourself like a, like a real moment to think, man. To fucking think, dude. I remember watching like this video of like Donald Trump in an interview and then like 
Donald Trump was comparing his interview to like Joe Biden's interview, and they're just like, "Oh, so Joe Biden, what what ice cream are you?" <laughs> I, I put the video here so you guys can see. Um, it was like so Joe Biden, what's what's the what's the what flavor ice cream that you have? And he's and he's like, "Oh, chocolate, chocolate chip, chip, chocolate chip," and he's like, he's just stuttering. He's, he has dementia. Okay, I don't really blame him. It's a symptom of old age. <laughs> but the one at the moment, like, and it, and he's also in a scandal as well, or something. I don't remember exactly. Because I'm British, I don't, I don't care about American politics. It's about probably I should because America has an effect on the entire world basically at this point, and the entire world under its grip. But um, they said something like the woman, the woman was like, "Oh no, he can't, can't be in a scandal. He can't be in a scandal. He can't be in a scandal. Oh, of course not." I just think to myself, like, who fucking thinks as modern day? Nobody thinks. I'm not saying, like, you know, escape the matrix, become your, become the universal destroyer, you know, <laughs> yeah, break the wheels, grab someone by the throat and, you know, choke the life out of them. I'm not saying something, anything like that. I'm just saying, like, like, take a moment to genuinely think about your life, your trajectory, the way where you're going with your actions, how your actions are shaping your identity this type of shit because when you play video games or when you waste time and you don't work out and you eat junk food and you fuck around like find out like like me fucking 3 a.m in the morning you're going to suffer inevitably as a result you are and i'm telling you this from a place of suffering i'm fucking i'm fucking dying out here bro <laughs> like i'm not i'm not obviously not dying but like there would be no difference in my life it's so weird. If I, if I live or die, it would there would make very little difference. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, I, I doubt anyone would mourn. I doubt anyone would weep. Probably some of my friends, maybe. Some of them would be like, oh, wow, really? That's crazy. And then move on with their lives off like two days. My family, probably a, a month of mourning. And then, you know, I got to figure shit out. Okay. Like, my great grandfather, he died. Everyone was fucking crying at his funeral. I was like, holy shit, he's actually dead. I was like, one of those, it's crazy moment. But then, like, later on, I just moved on to my day, and I ate some food. And I just, like, I just said, like, yeah, chill, okay, chill. He's dead now. Like, that was quick. Like, or I wanted to see him when they, when I came to, you know, Vietnam this this year. But, um, yeah. I did, I did, um, have, like, I didn't cry, but I had, like, a moment of, like, deep, deep solitude. Holy fuck! But um, yeah, it, that, that's that's I'm, I'm, it's, it's almost like I'm living in limbo, guys. And I and I'm sure a lot of other individuals live this way as well. When you play video games, you live like this. When you have social media, you live like this. Like um, I don't know the looks maxing thing. Like I wish I could set up a camera, but it's me super bait. But like when I'm lifting weights or I'm looking at myself in the mirror or or I'm boxing. I'm always getting looks, not like, like, not like, oh, wow, he's so hot, like, I'm not like a fucking Chico Lewowski, okay, guys, I'm not the most handsome individual in the world, but I am getting looks, like, it looks so curious, like, what, what's this guy doing over here, and, um, I just think to myself, like, it's the same for, like, a girl, for example, like, when on social media, you can hyper, hyper get attention from guys, Hyper, like you play video game. Oh my god, it's everyone like literally hundreds of thousands of people sing over you. Oh, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. I don't even know you, man. <laughs> they just want to sleep with you and it's done with. You know what I'm saying, guys? They just want that female company. And then they chill. And most of them probably like fucking half like misogynistic or some shit. Like they, they kind of hate women. But they watch like the videos like, oh, these dumbass bitches, I hate fucking, you know what I'm saying, guys. And then, I'll actually explain that point. I'm not saying all oh, individuals that watch red pill content hate women. But there's a lot of hate watchers in the red pill space. Like, I don't, I don't, my, my emotions are sacred. I never harbored hatred towards the, the woman on, like, on Fashion Fit or any of these these podcast shows. Because they're just, they're just deluded. They're just miseducated, not, not miseducated, uneducated, severely. They genuinely believe from the bottom of their heart that their time is worth so much to a man to the point where they can be simped and fawned 
over for doing absolutely nothing. And a lot of men substitute that lifestyle as well with OnlyFans and with simping and white knighting, and, you know, getting on their knees and begging and then giving their monthly paycheck to these stupid idiot four out of ten three or fours. Sure. But like you be a girl. You could <laughs> so stupid to say this. You'd be treated like a celebrity online. Really like a celebrity online. Like oh, everyone's simping, oh my god, I, I Stacy, oh my god, Stacy come here and you go in real life and you go to like Target or something, you call like Walmart or Tesco, whatever it is, Audi. And you're just a normal human being again. It's even worse for guys. You're not even seen. <laughs> Fuck it, bro. That's how it is. That's how it is. I mean, I, I, any other way, it'd, it'd be, it kind of be weird, right? It'd be weird. So I just took a moment to like think about where I'm genuinely going in my life, like playing Apex. Like I, 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 there was a scare. The reason why I, I like uh, triggered me and motivated me to like to actually get back on the fucking game is because season twenty has like a flatline skin that was exclusive to a battle pass. It's gonna sound so fucking homosexual. <sighs> I'm done, bro. But like season twenty had a battle pass skin recolor, and I really like it. I really do like it, and. so bad because I know what the feeling is like when I do get it it'll be cool for like a day and then I'll just move on and it'll be, it'll be like oh yeah cool what's next you know what I'm saying guys anyway the skin I really want it's limited rare edition right it's limited edition it's extremely rare that pushed that motivated me to get back on this fucking video game and I decided hey I'm gonna, fuck, I'm gonna fucking do it I'm gonna get back on Apex And I'm back to I'm back to square one. I'm back to wasting my life. It's so embarrassed to make this fucking video, bro. It's so embarrassing. <sighs> I'll continue. And I was thinking about like in in the next 10, 20 years, where will I be as a result of this action? I don't know. Not very really fucking far, that is. It's not like not in a good place, not in a good position. Like, where's the boxing gonna go? Like, oh yeah, to be fair, I'm not really like, I'm not really enjoying boxing, fell out of love with the sport, fair enough, but I don't have that, you know, fighter spirit that I had before. That tenaciousness, the hunger and the consistency, it's kind of like evaporated because I'm more comfortable. But like, with, uh, to add video games into the mix? What the fuck are you doing, Jimmy? What are you doing? Average man is just like this. What, what is the difference between you and the average man? Money? Fitness? It's horrible. It's horrible. What am I fucking doing, bro? Like, where, when you're an ambitious individual, you fall into the pit of ambition, right? You always want more. You want more money. More cars, more women, more status, whatever it is. Some arbitrary thing that you want more of in order to feel something. That trap is good. If you have it in real life. But if that trap exists purely in a video game sense, like, you're gonna get fucked, bro. You really are gonna get fucked. And before you know it, it's, bro, it's gonna be too late. I look back at this past year, I'm like, yeah, I could have made more content. Like, it's just, it's, just, it's infuriating, man. I could have done this, I could have done that, I could have done this, I could have done that. <sighs> look back on your past year. Bro, I can say this for a fact. You could have been so much more. Straight up. You could have been so much more. But what did you decide to do? 
social media, scrolling, TikTok. Well, you know, it's just. I kind of I listen to that song. I wish we could turn back time to the good old days. And I just think to myself, like, this song is good and bad. Because on one side of the spectrum, you want to turn back time and redo all over again. But there's no doubt in my mind that if you're an individual that is lazy now, you'll probably be lazy back then as well. You will probably repeat. History will repeat itself because you wouldn't understand history. The best thing you could possibly do and the most realistic outcome is to work extremely hard. As hard as you possibly can. Focus on the now. Focus on how shitty it is. Focus on how much it sucks. And really push and push and push and push and actually try to achieve something with your minuscule life. I remember I was watching Hamza's video on how to quit video game. He was like, there has to be a period in which you quit the video game and you realize life is so shitty. You just gotta accept it and keep moving. That's how you're gonna be, guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Slim video, get out of Stay safe. What the fuck is coughing like that?